Hello, Homestead Gardeners. I'm trying some new things this year. Have to, because the things I did last year didn't work. If you've been gardening for a long time, you know that you always have to be learning and trying new things. I built a greenhouse and I thought I would grow my tomatoes and my peppers in there and I would be eating so many tomatoes and peppers. Oh, it'd be wonderful. It was so hot in there that they wouldn't grow. And one thing that did grow in there were my greens. And so I decided, okay, I'm gonna plant my greens inside and I'll plant my tomatoes, peppers, etc. outside. What I've done is create a new way to start my plants and a new way to grow my greens. That's the planters that you've seen here. They are for mixing concrete. You can go to any Lowe's or Home Depot and pick those up. They're about eight bucks a piece. And I can plant everything right in there, providing it doesn't have much of a root structure. So all my greens and so forth will work really great in these. And I also use it for a starter. And that's where I have all the cups in there. And I can water that all real quickly and simply and water it from the bottom up, which is a great way to go. You'll notice on these planters that I have a, a white plastic jar right in the middle. That's filled with holes in the bottom. And I can put the water right in there. And I can see how much water is actually in that bin, in the bottom of the bin. Uh, we want to water things from the bottom as much as we can, and we don't want to overwater it. So I can actually see how much is in there. It makes my watering very simple. You can see the water there, and you don't want to have more than about an inch of water at the bottom. And we continue to sprinkle uh, on top uh, as needed. So this is a new thing that we're going to be doing this year. We'll let you know. You may also notice the wire over it. That's because it's inside my home here, behind my big plate glass windows, and I have cats, and they cannot resist a box like this. And so we have to cover them up with wire. That keeps them out of there. Uh, the other thing you might notice is that I'm using 100% compost. In any container gardening, you cannot use soil because it compacts very quickly and becomes like a piece of concrete. So you want to have a real loose, crumbly, friable compost. We make this ourselves. Be careful, if you go and buy a commercial compost, it'll probably be too hot for this purpose. Uh, you might buy commercial and then mix it with about 50% wood chips uh, or sawdust to get it so that it's not so doggone hot it'll burn your plants. I planted these sip trays early in February. And then I've just consistently planted as needed. My goal is to be able to harvest them continuously. And I pretty much have reached that goal because I use them in my uh, morning smoothies, spinach and kale and everything that I've got in the greens. So that's something we're trying here. Let us know what you think. Good luck with your garden this year. Keep your eyes on the sky. Keep that powder dry. What we what would it be?